we are going to do our Picasso inspired Easter bunnies. It's going to be so much fun. So here I have my box of crayons. Here I have my pencil. I have my marker and I have some markers in case I want to color it in with that. You can do whatever you have. So let me use whatever you have. So let me push this up and push this up. I'm going to use my marker so that you can see it. You guys use a pencil and make sure you have a good eraser. Okay. So we're going to draw our head on the bottom half of our page. Okay. <clears throat> because what do Easter bunnies have? Big ears. So I'm going to make my circle pretty big because I want to make a face in there. Okay. Now I'm going to put a bow tie. So I put a square Then I'm going to make a triangle out and make a triangle out. Look how easy that bow tie is. Now we have ears. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to make this one flop. Oh, look at that floppy ear. If you don't want floppy ears, just do your ears up like that because you know why? You're the artist and this is your piece of art. That's right. Okay, so now we're gonna do some eyes. I'm gonna make big eyes, cause I like big eyes. And then I'm gonna have him looking over this way. What's over there? I don't know. Now the nose, okay, you caught up. Now the nose is a simple triangle, but it's kind of a soft triangle at the bottom. It's not just a point. Then his mouth. Oh, look at that. Whoop. Whoop. Simple smile. See how easy that is? And you can put the inside of his ears. And the inside of his ears. Okay. And whatever we do, we can't forget its whiskers. One, two, three. Now you're using your pencil, remember? So you're just going to go one, two, three. See how come I'm not using the pencil? Because you, you can't see it. And then you can go over all of your pencil marks after you finish coloring. Okay? So, now here comes the Picasso part. <clears throat> you can do, we're going to do lines. And you guys know how to do lines. Remember all the different lines? So you can even do different lines like this. You can do lines like that. You can do all kinds of lines, swervy lines. I like, let's see, I'm going to go over here, go through here, up there, because we're going to make him real colorful, okay? You can even do your bow if you want your bow to have different colors. You can uh, even do shapes if you want to, because you're the artist. Just start doing what you feel, okay? I think I'm going to leave that one solid. I don't have anything going this way. Now we can start drawing, I mean coloring, since we're finished drawing. You can pick any colors, anything that you want to do. Remember the value of a color is the different shades. So look at this, This you can do this dark or a different value of black is the light. And you don't have to, I'm going to make this dark again. I don't like that. So you don't have to, like a rabbit's nose is black. Well, this is your piece of art. You don't have to make it black. You can make it purple. You can make it any color that you want. And if you have uh, other color markers, you can make a smile pink or red or whatever. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so now just take your crayons. And color remember like I said the value see how light I'm coloring or I can color real dark that'll just change the value of the same color and you can make it come down in here make it blend now you can do whatever you want <clears throat> excuse me okay so now I'm just gonna let you guys color 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 you can color with crayons or with your markers, whichever you want to do. I like to color with crayons. They seem to color better for me. I like the outcome better. There's more control. And see how I did this orange? And then I like to take the same color and color different places. So then it is random. And I know I'm not getting my colors all, all in the same spot. 
So when you're coloring, go the same way. You guys know that. Did you see how I outlined that first? And then see, I can go over here. And this kind of just makes it random. If you want it random, or you can have it all the, the same color. Okay, I'm gonna finish coloring this and then I'll be back. It'll be one second. Okay. Okay, I'm finished and I don't know if you can tell, but when I started coloring, there was too many spaces. So it was, I didn't like the big broad colors, but you can do whatever you want. But so see, I made some dots. I made some more lines so that I could put a lot more colors on it and stuff like that. <clears throat> so here it is. So after you finish coloring, then you take your marker and you outline everything. And you can go over your pencil lines for your nose. I mean, for your whiskers and do your nose and do your eyes. But I had to draw with my marker so you could see it. So see, mine's done. But if there's places, I mean, you can go over anything. And uh, this is our Picasso-inspired Easter Bunny. And let's put the date on there. What is today? Yes, it is. 3, 30, 20, 20. So then you can remember that you did this at home for homeschool. Okay, guys, I miss you, and watch for my next video. I'll have a whole bunch of different ones because I enjoy doing art with you guys. Okay, remember to clean up all your supplies and put everything up until next time. Okay, miss you guys.